Holy Saturday, John 19, 38 through 42. It's been a long week. Pastors say that a lot during Holy Week, but for the Christian it is too. Certainly it was for Jesus. And now he gets to rest. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, they take his body off the, off the cross on Good Friday and they take it to the garden and they bury him in a tomb. And as Jesus' body is laid to rest, uh, all that the world, uh, certainly Caesar and the Jews and, and the Sanhedrin and the chief priest Caiaphas, all that they saw was defeat because that's what we see at death, right? Death looks like it has won the day. Death always looks like it is the victor and that we are the losers. Our loved ones, our brothers, our parents, and maybe even us. Because that's all that we can see. You can't see victory at a funeral. Let's go all the way back to Genesis chapter 3. Uh, when God caps off creation, he, he speaks a final word. It, he says this is, this is not just good, this is very good. Caps off creation with mankind, right? Adam and Eve, man and woman, to become one flesh and procreate. And he says this is very good because he has created life here on this earth. Well, on Good Friday, Jesus says something from the cross. He says, it is finished. And saying it is finished, I wonder if that isn't another way of saying it is very good. Because that's what the death of Jesus actually is for the sinner. It is very good. Not good in the sense that we're happy about it, or the way that we think of the difference between good and evil, but good in the sense that it is of God, and therefore it is of life. Jesus' death is our life, your life. And that's why we call it good. Life and salvation to all of those to whom death draws near. And so now God, Jesus, he rests in slumber on Holy Saturday. His body does. But he gets to preach because this is a message of salvation. When Jesus says it is finished, that isn't a defeat for him. That is defeat for all of his enemies. And he needs to preach that, that sermon of salvation and life. And we'll get to hear it on Easter. Satan gets to hear it one day earlier. Jesus, he storms down there. St. Peter talks about that in his first epistle. And he preaches he preaches to those who are in hell. We always think of hell as the devil's playground. I don't think it is. It's, it's Satan's place of torment, especially after Jesus came down off of that cross and went down there and proclaimed to him and all of his demons that it is finished, meaning that the victory that they thought that they had when Jesus breathed his last, that was their defeat. That was the final nail in their coffin. Jesus also gets to preach to death that death doesn't win the day. In just a few hours, he's going to burst forth from the tomb. He's going to break death, and he's going to leave death inside of that grave, which means all of those who have been buried into his death through baptism are going to be raised to new life in his resurrection, just like him. That's the gift. That's what we get to celebrate here on Holy Saturday, Vigil of Easter. The Christian gets to wait in anticipation for when his Lord bursts forth from the tomb. The victory is already sure and complete. We just get to see it tomorrow. Thanks be to God.